Hey, what's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate y'all for continuing to rock with me. Let me tell y'all something, man. When you see a real one, you just recognize a real one, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is that even when you're looking at they, you know, their performances and stuff, you can see, you know, whether or not one of them is apprehensive or mm -hmm. whether they really from it or whether they just talking about it. And I think that verb, I know. I know that verb is one of the real ones. Mm -hmm. And we even be having conversations. We be sending messages back and forth because I just recognize that he know what he's talking about. But I'm mm -hmm. so excited because I get to kick it with somebody that really know the game and understand the game and can really break it down for the people. Mm -hmm. I got my dog A Verb yes, in the building. Yes, what up? What's up? What's up, my boy? What's up? Well, first off, we do, we we understand each other because we from the same area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why, like, you know, you have a little sucker up here saying anything, and our people don't come from that. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, me, a girl told me recently the Midwest was the last, the last line of men. I think so, bro. Mm -hmm. I genuinely think so because I think that it's a. Um, they don't like it for me to use this word, but I got to call it what it is. I think it's a lot of simping, bro. Simping. It's a lot of, but more importantly, though, verb. I think it's a lot more of guys that just don't know. Okay, so, I think it's okay, a, guy, so a lot of we, guys that don't get it, bro. So can we fault them if they don't know, or or yep, or or if they don't, we can't fault them if they don't have the guidance. Then we have to, because because wow. because the game is gonna be the game regardless of whether or not they they get it or not. But they sentence is a okay. The simps we see in now, most simps are under what age wise? Let's just think about it. I think it's I think it's all ages. I think it's. I think it's more older since than it is younger. No, I got to be them young niggas. You think so? You crazy. Them young niggas Man, love I, them. Man, I think it's the old dudes that messed up the game. No, nah, the old heads, they treat them like we come from a world where the old heads is like sit, stay. You know what I'm saying? Well, no. Yeah. No, that's What's a up? certain demographic yeah. of old head from mm -hmm. where you from. Okay, okay. So everybody. It was a lot of dudes that was on some happy wife, happy life. You know a 70-year-old simp right now? Because I, I don't yeah. know a 70-year-old simp. You know what? You know the dudes that used to go to work, bring their check home to their wife and get an allowance. All right, so do you, or did they live to be 70? Because if they dying. Oh, uh, yeah, they, you might have a point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, really, them niggas. You, you might know. have a point on yeah, that, Yeah, like though. if they, if, if simping and they didn't make it to 70, you don't, I said, do you know a 70-year-old simp? You said, no. Nah. Yeah, you might them be right niggas don't that. live that I'll motherfucker. I'll give you that. <laughs> Yeah. But Verb is in the building, yeah, and I got up? so many different questions yeah. for Verb, man. And And one of the things that, the first thing that come to my mind, and I'm gonna be honest, this is inspired by Rashad McCants, mm -hmm. uh, who I was kicking it with earlier. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he come from a different environment where he was a ball player, mm -hmm. but you didn't travel city to city, mm -hmm. state to state, country to country. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to the environments that you've seen these these different, you know, women and, mm -hmm. and how dudes operate with the chicks, is it is it similar as far as like you know the fandom and the love that you get? Is the groupies a thing that's in these type of environments? Oh also yeah, like it's that? most of the stars y'all like is hoes. Really? Yeah, them bitches hoes. Like it's it's crazy. Anybody that get around, <laughs> they know that they hoes. Like from rappers, they'll fuck anybody. It's like one day I'm like, I'm gonna come here and do a tell-all book on these hoes. I can't, <laughs> I can't stand no bitch. <laughs> Hey, now nah, listen. How much you pay me for? You got the money too. I said. Hey, hey, I, you know me. I'm, I'm a sponsor. Yeah, like no, nah, nah, uh, we listen. gonna partner on that. Hey, one. listen for real. You give me the money. I, I tell all. Oh man, man, boy, I got don't, some story. don't get me. You know, I got to tell, man. We need to start getting these hoes back for what they do to us, right? I'm with it. Shit, burn it. I don't, listen. I think every man it. here, if you didn't hit you a star, you need to come tell. Come, come sit with us, Nick. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what though, verb. The interesting thing about it though is that. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> when you were saying that you know these young dudes are simp's, how, why do you think that it's so bad today? Because it seems like it's more information than ever mm -hmm. for guys to be able to source through, but they don't and get it. the game now. They don't want it. Like twenty years from now, you know what a car with gas is gonna be? Like an ant? <laughs> they don't want that. Like it's like we we in a different setting. Our minds. Is met the music was different though. Yeah, too. it was. Like if you go back and look at what was the number one records of our time, that yeah, was the programming right. to our girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The girls now are telling you you gotta have some money to fuck me, which is simping. So it's gonna you see on the triggers it's a it's a walk down the street. Cause I look at the biggest rappers we had, like the girl rappers, like 
what, Lauren Hill? Yeah. Quit, and they all fought. Like, you, I think 20 years, 25 years ago, what did a badass girl look like? She was slim, yeah. long hair, Aaliyah. Yeah, you're right. right. Yep, you know what yep. I'm saying? Now, what is what is it she now? She has to be long weave, hip, thighs. Yeah. yeah. It's a, they all look the same, bro. They look like uh, them city girls. You got a problem with that? Because they, mm -hmm. they still good to hit now. I can't no, I stand think, no bitch, but they be good to I hit. I think now. the game is the game. I don't yeah. think it changed. I don't think that it's um, – I mean, I don't think that guys is categorizing chicks no more. They putting them all in the same bucket. Like, yeah, was, you know, yeah. we all knew that it was a difference between, you know, a hoe for the streets or a housewife or, yeah. you know, the good girl. But then the good girl can turn into the chick for the streets. But you knew, you know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't even have to ask a chick what's her body count. You just know that she that. You know what I'm saying? You know that she's easily spread around. But I think that guys nowadays, mm -hmm. they don't separated now. I mean they they are in the same bucket come it's you still gonna fuck come yeah see you in sure. the come bucket yeah new word nigga come bucket <laughs> if you if you now if you really think about it like you still gonna you trying to hit them all right yeah guys come bucket they all go in the same bucket you if said you something out, uh there's different floors at a bucket you still all go. you said yeah. something on uh I think it was maths that like it was a uh, come to Jesus moment for me because it just, you know what I'm saying? It was mm -hmm. almost like a a sermon that mm -hmm. you had put together. And you were saying that guys get up more for different women that they're dealing with on a regular, you know, yeah. different women that they need to knock down. For sure. Versus them, you know, getting that same stamina to knock down the same chick multiple times in a day. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. you break that down for us? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's just not a lie. That's the problem we're dealing with. The niggas have became such simps, they feel like they have to lie to fuck. Mm -hmm. we, if you just tell her the truth, you're still going to fuck anyway. Yeah, that's you true. Know? Like, okay, we all know one girl cannot make you feel like that. She cannot. Hitting your gal three times in a row is like prison, if you really want <laughs> to be real. If you come on, man, if you had her for all them years, that pussy ain't shit. Like, come on, like, that's yeah. Shit. But you love her, so her pussy is something. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so she goes past the line of, like, busting a nut. Mm -hmm. She is like she's valuable. When we love her, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. But I mean, who want to keep hitting y'all like that? Like, I, I, but three different girls walk in the room. I'm hitting all three of them. Yeah. Yes, all three of them. Do you think that that's the fascination with guys that want to be with multiple different girls at the same time? I think you just come from that. I, our bodies that we don't question these, these girls when they have a period. That's something we don't like. Mm -hmm. But our body tells us to get another girl almost every second of the day. And we walking around lying to appease these these things. Mm -hmm. Like we trying to like we, we trying to make y'all understand us. Fuck if you understand us. We have testosterone. When I when I walk down the street, don't matter how girl bad my girl is, if another bad one walk by, what we doing? We're looking. Mm -hmm. We desire her, and we the shit God put that shit in us. Fuck them hoes. You can't. We can't. De you can't determine what we are. Mm -hmm. We do not like a period. We would like for you to stop that. You can't, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not, but 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 my testosterone tells. That's what makes a man a man. Yeah, we can. We we're we're designed to reproduce. Yeah, make more kids. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You can't cut that off. Where did this whole monogamy thing come from for men? Because I understand it with women, right? Like, mm -hmm. like even me, like I'm incredibly territorial, mm -hmm. right? Of course, what's I your sign? Aries. Okay. And so I'm super territorial where obviously, you know, um, I mean, you know, I'm a let her fly because yeah. I need her to go and, and take care of business and, right. and do all of that other type of stuff. Right. But in a sense that, you know, I know it's OK. So let me let me break it down from this thing. Mm -hmm. It's this new thing. Right. And it, obviously it, the puffy thing it really brought it to the forefront. But it's mm -hmm. always been popping off. Right. right. Where. You know, his his chick, he inviting other dudes to bust down his chick. I'm not that type of dude. No, right? that's that's a yeah, that, for I'm, me, that's I'm a, territorial. I think young is okay to be running the train, but right? it's like Yeah, but that's different. I mean, yeah. That's that's not your yeah. chick. That's everybody chick. Well, I mean, back in the day she still could be your chick for a second if you let your partners hit her. Back well, once my partners hit, that's not my chick no more. I, mean, I ain't trying to hold her. But somebody gonna hit her though. So why cool. you don't want him to hit her? That's selfish. No, that's like, cool. I mean, like, okay, look, think about it. If you like her, yeah, and it's yours, 
You can't get mad. Like, how you don't want me to hit her, but somebody else going to hit her. No, 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 no. If you can hit her, hit her. No, nah, but you should give it to me because it make more sense to share but the, with but, you. But, but here's the thing, though. Yeah. In that case, mm -hmm. she shouldn't be your girl. I mean, but how do you define a girl, though? It's like, like it, I any, can't. Any dude, this is the way I see it. I don't believe in relationships. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I think that either you're single or you're married. Okay. All right. So if you in a relationship, she's still not yours. She yours, but she's not yours. Meaning that if another dude knock her off, I wouldn't get mad at him for knocking her off because the game is the game. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, okay, okay, I'm with you. Okay. But I'm with you on that. Okay. But in the sense that you talking about a chick that's the mother of your kid or something like that, right? Okay. I'm in I'm territorial in that sense, right? Mm -hmm. But if a dude can knock your chick off, I wouldn't get I don't get mad at the guy. I don't understand the guys. I mean, you but be. guys be crashing out over, over the, the dude. But though. that's this era. We didn't do that so much. There was like if I saw you with her, I waited my turn, mm -hmm. then I got at her. This era is more emotional. We don't come from emotional music. Our rap music told us they was hoes. Mm -hmm. Treat them like as such. A fuck a bitch, don't tease, strip tease, eat a bowl of these. We know that, right? Mm -hmm. That's going in our heads. Now this era of music, they sing to their partners. It's more in <laughs> love. Like the, the rappers now, they sing, this is my bros, and we got a bunch of homosexuals. Yeah. Like that, just think about what's going inside our head. Yeah, this is called programming. You, the more you hear something, it's programming. It's teaching you. You speak a lot about that lately. Yeah, like I mean, you really be breaking it down and speaking a lot about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, obviously, I follow you, so yeah. I'm always in a congregation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, supporting the sermons Shout that you're the giving. Mm -hmm. But you speak a lot about the spirits that's in the music yeah. that we listen to, even to the point to where you broke it down to where when you get in a mode where you actually got a battle or mm -hmm. um, you know the spirits that come along with it and you even went as far as to say um, that you wouldn't advocate for a person to want to be a rapper. No, 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 being a rapper is a terrible idea. I, I don't, like when I meet like up and coming people or mm -hmm. people that's trying, I tell them stop. It's, gonna, it's a waste of your time. Mm. We need more lawyers, we need more doctors. We need more police officers. We need more, like we need those things to control what we need. Being a rapper is one of the worst decisions you can make as a human. Um, first off, you 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 gambling on something with your heart. Mm. You shouldn't do that off the jump. You making a decision based on how you feel. I feel like I can be the greatest, but that might be a lie. Yeah. So you spend your time, you gonna waste. I was fortunate to say enough to say, I made money from rap. I did, like I understood, I saw the world. But the percentage of me's is so small, I would never recommend that to know. Absolutely not, absolutely not. You and even fail. when they become, even when they get some level of success, because everybody not gonna be you, mm -hmm. right? Even if they get a level of success, actually, more. I think more of them get some visibility, but they, maybe not necessarily even and that's worse. get success. And that's, and that's worse, man. Like when, when, when you, I mean, because the thing with, with, with being a rapper or entertainment, you're going to lose. That's the first thing. Um, somebody going to take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. Whatever you think you're worth, you, you, you will not make nothing close to it. That's why I don't, I don't advocate and tell them to do it. I say find something around it. Mm -hmm. If it's 10 of us, we all shouldn't be rappers. One of us should be stupid. The rest of us should work for the stupid nigga. Mm. And then, like, we got a better chance to at least increase his stupid ass getting on stage. Yeah. Like, instead of saying one, we gonna it's ten of us, we a rap group. Let's take which one of us is the best. Yeah. Let's put this nigga in the front. Let's all rap with him. You hang posters. You go fuck with hoes and get us in this building. You go do that, and we got a better chance of getting the rapper to, to success the, to the money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah instead, yeah. Of, that makes more sense to me. Yeah. But somebody got to be stupid, but the rest of us got to be smart. It yeah, increase your you. chances. I'm with you. Nobody want to play the. Everybody want to be the star, though. I mean, yeah, it's it's, but <clears throat> being the front man, it's a lot to come with that too, though. You are gonna be the the talk of everything, good or bad. Mm -hmm. You are gonna be a target. I mean, do you want that? Yeah. Like you getting very popular, man. Like, you good with that? No. No. Well, sometimes, yeah. but I'm but I'm take a lot of pictures, right? Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, though, it it come with the game, though. Like if I if I was able to have the money without the the visibility, I'd take that. Okay, so what made you chase this? Let's let's hey, what made you decide What made me it? chase the visibility? Yeah. Or the money. Which is a addictive. The visibility is a drug. 
What made you decide nah, you want to get I'm, high? Uh, I knew that the money couldn't come without the visibility in this game. Okay. All right. it, you can't, you can't. Well, you could have Vlad, Vlad behind the camera. No, nah, fuck that. Because um, Vlad becomes interdependent on other people in order to be successful. That's the, I like that angle. I don't want that. You right? want to be able to hold Every it. single, if you notice, like one of my strategies is I never do an interview off camera, ever. Mm. And I prefer to do them in person. Mm. And one of the reasons that I do that is because it's not just for the content, but it's also to help promote me. Mm, because you, you, even when I did all of the Charleston interviews, you didn't see Charleston without me for a period of time. Mm. It was just me and Charleston. You slick, boy. You know what I'm saying? So you when slick, they off camera, I, I'll give you another example, right? Like Say Cheese, right? Yeah. Nobody really knows who Say Cheese look like. No. Like we know because we immerse in the culture, right. but the casual fan, Say Cheese, it seems as though now he's working on his personal brand more. Right, right. But, you know, and, you know, they can always get guests or whatever, but I can fucking go on a live stream and cook up and wow, do just right. as many numbers. See, I, I'm like that too. You know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you. I like to do it yourself. It's like, because when you can hold them for a minute, that means yep. you're saying something. It's like a pastor. Yep. So the visibility also come with the, the success, right? Mm -hmm. But then- you know, I also realize that everybody don't work as hard as you. Like, everybody mm -hmm. not as passionate about your shit. Absolutely. Or passionate about what that success come like as you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? When they so, come, they do. Oh, yes, they do. I mean, LeBron is a brand. You know what I'm saying? You don't really get the brand without LeBron. That's a fact. So, yeah. you know, it's just it's just a part of the game. It's a yin and a yang, but it is a- uh, terrible uh, analogy to use LeBron. Like, you shoot ball with- Doing this, though. I'm gonna be bigger than LeBron. Okay, no, I don't doubt that. I'm saying, like, you know, LeBron slams, dunks, flies, and you know. But my point yeah. is that you can't sell shoes without the visibility of him Absolutely dunking, right. and you know what I'm saying. That. He still he's is. Mm -hmm. He's still he's still a okay. thing that's selling the shoes. You that's know what right. I'm saying? People, people, people buy Jordans because of Jordan. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he's still a part of the brand. It's his name that sell the shoes. We don't see that nigga in him. Yeah, that's true. Now let's talk about that. Nigga, no, that's we true. We don't see that nigga wearing them. You, you, but yeah, yeah. the flip side, though, Verb, mm -hmm. see, for somebody like you yeah. that's just chilling, right? What if I wanted to get a side chick? Get a side chick to do what? It's to just be out in the streets. What if? What if I want to go to the game with my side chick? Hypothetically speaking, I think I can't do that. Well, if you pay for everything, you can. I can't do that, Verb. Oh, shit. If you pay for everything, you can do what you want to do. Well, the reason that I can't do that is not because of what I can do and what I can't do, but it's the visibility that come along with it because I'm the one that's in front of the camera. Yeah. Oh, you're saying as far as, okay, I got you. You're still in that box. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, I Which, guess so. Which, I ain't worried about it, that because I ain't camera. on that type of time, but my point is is that- That's the dope boy era, though. You don't want to get caught. Yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to be. You don't want to get caught with the, with the chinchilla on hey, nah, at the, nah, nah, at nah, the fight. You, can't fool you know me. what I'm saying? Nah, nah, you meant that too much. You can't fool me. But I mean, you know, I think that a lot of people don't realize that, which I don't know how Puff got in a fucking situation. That he, I don't know how half of these dudes is getting in this situation because it seemed like they've been in the game so long that maybe they just got sloppy, but. You can't move like everybody else move. Le Let's use LeBron. LeBron okay. can't. I believe that every single NBA player ever has all had it. I don't believe there's one NBA player that has ever crossed the league that has not had another chick. Uh, no, no, come While on. While he was not, married. Let's not be dumb now. Why why would they not have something? So, they, with that on, being they're, said, they're though. They're kings and they own. Like, come on, man. And, I, and yeah, I'm with yeah, you, yeah, right? Yeah. But with that being said, though, yeah. you can't see him out there doing yeah. what he really, he if he really wanted it, to do that, yeah, right? He, he got to move differently. He still can have it, though. It's too much of a headache sometimes, though, bro. Oh, shit, that much money, you can hide anything. You know what though, Verb? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. You know why I don't really cheat or nothing like that? It's not just that I don't feel like it. Yeah. It's just too much headache, bro. Mm. I don't have to. Yeah. Anyway, but so edit, they don't believe it. I told a girl recently. I said, "Hey, if we get everything we want, we don't have to leave the house, man." Yeah. Yeah. You just got. I don't be have with, to. I'm chilling. You got to just be what he asks. As yeah. long as you do that, he'll stay around. Cause we don't want to go over there. But they still yeah. promoting monogamy amongst men, though, like society is. 
Okay, how many people do you know that's monogamous that are happy with their girl right now? <laughs> I'm not like, answering I mean, that no, question. I'm just asking you a question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing you under the microscope. Well, no, I'm straight. I'm not, I'm no, not no, concerned not you. about no, it. No, I'm just saying, but how many people, you know a lot of married men, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. How many call you and say, man, I'm so happy about my wife today? <laughs> Well, shit, them niggas don't call you that shit. How, how you know it's ecstatic to go home? Man, come on, let's, man, cut the shit, man. Like, you know, damn well. You don't hear never, man, me and my wife. I love my wife. Man, my wife, I can show you the picture of my wife. You don't Would you ever shit. get married, Bert? Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, I think I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm a husband type, though. I think I'm, nah, I'm a, I think I'm a husband type, though. You do? Yeah, I think so. In what way, Bert? I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll keep the lights on, you know. Uh, Verb, you, listen, yeah. I don't think it's a woman in the world. She, yes, they will. That look at you and say. She, yes, they will. I don't think it's a woman in the world that will look at you and say. And you got to take into consideration mm -hmm. the visibility. Yeah. He ain't even, even remotely, like tapped into how big he's gonna be eventually. Yeah. Cause I I believe that Verb got a whole nother lane. Yeah, it's not pretty I cool. don't even look at Verb based off of how I discovered him. Please don't don't do that here. I, I honestly don't even know what that is. I gen listen, no, I no. genuinely don't look at hey, Verb based off shit, of how please, I discovered bro, that him. That shit is a curse. Don't don't say that. I look at Verb oh, the nigga. thing the thing that I rock with Verb please, on it's traumatizing. and the thing that I start <laughs> following Verb based off of. Yeah. Is the game and the different conversations that he's having today. Good, good. Thank right. You. So with That's that being cool. said, I don't even think that he's remotely tapped his potential. Yeah. So what so understanding that, I don't think it's a chick that look that see verb and say, Yeah, this nigga gonna be faithful to me for the rest of his life. I don't think he's gonna do it for you either. Now how about that? Who so who <laughs> like, like so so who so so look who 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 Hey, so no, none of these girls get cheated on? So none of y'all that's watching y'all don't get cheated on? Like, come on. So everybody here has not been cheated on. So when I, it's wrong, nigga. Man, everybody get cheated on. Who's get, who, who do you see staying together right now in 2023? Me. I mean, okay, so give me, you see all stars breaking up, right? Yeah, Nobody's Tiana staying. Taylor, everybody, uh, Jeezy, Everybody's all gone, of them. man. Like, who, who's not, how do you tell a man not to want her too? Okay, so what do you think about what recently got released in Jeezy's prenup then. Did you hear what that what that said? Oh, he finna fall off too. They said that in his prenup, a part of their prenup Shit. was if, basically if he cheat, mm -hmm. if he get caught with a text message, if he get caught <laughs> with another chick, then it basically voids out the prenuptial agreement. I mean, I think that's how most of them go though anyway though. I don't, you don't have to do that. You can make that prenup say whatever well, you I want mean, to say. Well, I mean, if I got, can I tell you why I would think that he cheated on her? Why? I know it's if he own. did, we don't know. I if mean, he did. well, I mean, come on, let's go. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hold on, wait. Before we get into that, you don't think it's not one chick bad enough? You know why he cheated on or her, or cool too. enough? You know why he cheated on her? To where a guy shouldn't shouldn't or wouldn't cheat on a chick? Her ass went fat. That's where it starts first. Well, we got it. We got to go into the science of it. And where is Jeezy from? I mean, <laughs> that's I, let's, irrelevant, let's, though. No, 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 no. Let's let's be. She had no chance of keeping him because her ass went fat. Jeezy come from the south where everybody ass is fat. No matter what kind of suit, nigga, snowman, you still the snowman. Nigga. <laughs> no matter what suit you put on, ain't nothing like rolling through that trap. That's what it is. He he's used. He made Jeezy made a career selling it to the hood rats. Yeah, he did. He got yeah, inspiration because right. Jeezy used to come to St. Louis. Oh, you and know he loved Detroit. Oh, it's a, he used to tear this whole market up. He right? still do. Man, look, Jeezy come. He brought the hood rats out with the fat asses. Yeah, that girl had no chance of keeping him anyway. Because in today's time, it's like you got to be exactly what he know. You can't take him from having two, three different girls every night with fat asses, and you got to just hit this stick. So or, any chick that get with Jeezy going forward, how good of a stick you is. Any chick don't. that get with Jeezy going forward, they got to expect to, they got to share. No, she gotta have an ass, man. It's the key is that. Like it's like But even with that, a fat ass ain't enough, Herb. Right? But G he has to have it. Like it's not enough though. Does a okay, does a person from the South don't eat soul food? No, no, no. I agree with you that you got that she gotta have it, but yeah. I don't think it's enough to keep him home like that. No, he's had the world in his hands. Like right. to shut that off, it just sounds crazy. Like, come on, like an athlete, a rapper, like <laughs> anybody, a superstar actor, they 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 go from place to place. 
and they have whatever they want in every city. When can you cut that off? You don't think that guys eventually get tired and be like, you know what? I'm I'm chilling. How many cars you got? About six. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, you ain't just keep that 85 Caprice, did you? No, I got and a 96 nigga, Impala. I mean, that ain't your main car either. Niggas don't nah, like old hoes either. Like that, you bring out of there now and then, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You keep a motherfucking 96 in the, hey, where your where you Impala? In the, in the garage. garage. That's like where her old ass need to be. It right? ain't even got 30,000 miles she, on You ain't bringing her out on no showtime. You keep her around. She old and, and trusty. <laughs> you know, like keeping up. Now, you, any nigga with multiple cars is going to cheat on you. That's just the truth. You think so? What nigga has? What nigga wants one car? I'm thinking about only going just, one. How many car. niggas you know right now with one car? Just, you <laughs> I don't, don't even know, know no nigga. Just think about it. <laughs> look, look, no, look. you know who I know? Who? Guys that just got their first car. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about humans. Nigga. I'm talking about human niggas. I'm talking about yeah, like like who you know? Think about anybody watching. Any think about who do you know that got one car? Like on what man says? Like I'm just a grown gonna, man. Yes, what grown man? I don't man know that, no grown man that got one. What car grown man that can have multiple cars don't? Now let's let's do it like that. Now well, some you of know what niggas, the ladies gonna say, Bird? What are they going well, You can't know. you can't complete you can't compare women to cars. They are the same thing as cars. They come with mileage, <laughs> shit break down on their ass. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, cause look, okay, when you meet a girl, what's the first thing you you first thing you she got eighty thousand miles on? How she look? Nice looking car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Engine kind of shot on the bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the fuck? Brakes going out. That means her shoe game ain't right. You know, you can fix the brakes on it. We take it. Uh -huh. When we see a girl, we add up as an investment how much it's going to cost us. That's what they don't understand. They think when we see them, we just pose to want them. You know what I'm saying? We look, we adding it up. Okay, let's look at her. She, I met her. She's an eight. At max, she can be what? Okay, this is a 10. Mm -hmm. Let's see where her family come from. We, we The whole time, we hunt her. It ain't yeah. about her look for real. Yeah, it's about the shit around her. Mm -hmm. Because if if she ugly for me, mm -hmm. if she ugly, but she gotta have an ass if she ugly. <laughs> like let's just cut this well, shit. For for you, yeah, she like, gotta have an ass no matter what. Well, no, I'm just no, she don't. It's just like some girls don't need it, but you ain't gonna keep a nigga in the house without it though. Mm -hmm. Like it's like come on, like <laughs> if you want him to stay home on a Friday <laughs> or a Saturday. I don't I mean, believe a guy staying home on a Friday or a Saturday. No but if her ass fat, it keeps her closer to staying home, though. It's like yeah. you're not gonna stay home with no little boy. Well, Verb, no. I gotta, I gotta push back, right. and let me tell you why I'm pushing back because I think that you're speaking from a position of privilege. Privilege? Why? Because Choice? no, yeah, because you gotta remember, mm -hmm. most guys don't just have a fleet or most guys may not be as successful or right. most guys don't have the visibility or most guys may not have as much money or most guys may not be as nice looking. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. a lot of regular everyday guys out here. And you speaking to the you speaking to a, the minority, Verb. No, 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 no. Give me a nigga you know right now with one car though. But you Verb, you don't know like, no, you, you don't hang like, with regular guys. I do. I'm a regular nigga. I just got a gift this shit. Like it's no Then that's not there, regular, there, Verb. No, it's because I chose to. That's what makes me unregular. No, that's not true. If I if I got a talent and I don't push it, I'm regular. It the the, the drive of it will make you the greatest. But you still the, you still irregular though. Regardless no, of how you painted, you still irregular. Everybody got a gift. True. It's just how you unlock it. I agree. Yeah, everybody But got they one. but a lot most guys don't unlock it. I mean, they daddy's hoes. We we are what our daddies are. You know what I'm saying? So your mama picked the wrong nigga. Yeah. That's all. Like I, that's why when <laughs> niggas, oh your mama fucked. Because because if we break it down at some point, and I said this, our mamas was the hoes. That's true. Yeah, I however agree. Way you, however way everybody here, your mama was one of the hoes. Yep. Like your daddy rolled through and said, "There go some hoes. We finna get her with them hoes." I agree. Like, that's it's like we we try to like put our mamas so far out of the range of anything negative. Mm -hmm. And they are the centerpiece of all the negative. What are you talking about? I agree. I mean, we, the mother never gets questioned, what did you do? She never get questioned that. No matter what, if the boy rob a bank, guess who fault it is? Where's the daddy? Is, yep. If he builds a rocket, it's mama. Now, it is a ton of guys that's out here. It seemed like it's rise of the, rise of the simps. <sighs> and they coming out in waves. They coming out in waves, verb, and they telling women that you can sit at home, do nothing. The guy is supposed to be faithful to you. 
He's he's a great guy. He make a lot of money. He's successful, mm-hmm. and he's supposed to come home to you, and you don't have to do anything except for just be there. Google hoes. Twenty seven percent of y'all get married in the black community. Yeah, yeah. So you should stop listening to them niggas. If twenty seven percent of y'all get married by picked up by any color, that's black, that's purple, because the only niggas that really like y'all is us. You don't really have an option. Yeah, the white man does not come get you and boost you to the ceiling. He fuck on you and send you back home. Yep. That's what happens. Yep. The, it's the niggas that get up, that sell they dope for you. They go rap and they bring you to their shows and buy you the boutiques. It's the niggas. But then you say, take from the niggas. Mm-hmm. So your music says, take from the niggas, not take from the white boys. The white boys have endless supplies of that shit. We don't have endless supplies of money in our culture. That's true. The, the white folks have it. The Asians steal it from them niggas. You don't hear the Asian girls say, we're going to steal from the Asians. Mm-hmm. Everybody take from the niggas. If everybody take from the niggas, how are we supposed to get up? Yeah, I don't have no pushback. I can't play devil's advocate for that. Yeah, like, or, come on. Like the, it, and it starts with the mother. Nobody, no, the mother is the most dangerous tool to the black man. I don't because know. Because that's the boy. I don't that, know. Why not? Or, why not? I think the simp is. No, it's the mama, because guess what? The mama is the only person we believe everything she say. Well, let me tell you why I think the simp is, because I think the simp is the thing that's enabling her, and that continues to give her the mindset to continue to perform how she's operating within her bad behavior. But his mama was a simp, too. A great, I, I agree. It's all connected to the mama. It's still It's her. always Listen, it's always going to be a dude that's willing to pick up the pieces. At the end of the day, the dude... All of the holes that you've ever seen in your entire life, Mm -hmm. all of the holes that I've ever seen in in my entire life, all of the holes that Rashad has ever seen in his entire life, Mm -hmm. it's a guy that's waiting at the end of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. After everybody done had her and did everything. And let's let's be clear, like we do some crazy shit to these women. No, we don't. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. This is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you marry or not, like the things that she's taken Mm. And and how she taking it and all of that is no way that a and my from my perspective just logically mm. that a, that a guy can look at a woman that has literally been physically manipulated from her body mm. in every way and contortioned and everything that she's ever been through mm-hmm. and then look at her and say oh my god look at this beautiful queen I can't see that. I don't see that in you. Because she's altered? Because she's recklessly altered. Okay, so let's 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 break it down to a science then. She's recklessly altered, but the whole world wants her look. But but at the same time, this is a guy that's gonna take her look. It's a police officer mm-hmm. that's gonna see her and say, I want you, I want your your three kids mm-hmm. that's not mine. Mm. And, you know, I'm going to take care of them and raise them as though they're my own and I'm going to love on you, Mm -hmm. right? And he's looking at her as super valuable when she's literally lived her life as though she wasn't up until the time that she met him. And so because a lot of women see some of that, and it don't even mean that it's actually something that really happens, but because they sold that dream, they think that they can do whatever they want, and then it's going to be a dude at the end of the rainbow that's willing to pick up the pieces from her. But they designed to believe anything anyway. True. We're not, we not good at lying, but they we say the right shit to them, they open their legs. Absolutely. Them. Yeah, so they designed to be dumb. We're supposed to tell, but we a man to say anything to you, and this is what a lot of hoes don't understand. He'll say anything to you to fuck. And then I can tell the truth, y'all still ain't going to listen because they don't listen. We will say anything to you, and you're going to believe it. We tell you the truth, you close your legs. Mm-hmm. We lie to you, you open them. Yep. Because the lie makes you feel good. We get what we want and keep moving. Yep. Yeah. But it's the, that guy still waiting. I feel, I kind of feel bad for that guy, man. But he was raised by his mama by himself. He a simp. Mm. Like because a mother is catering. A mother is. So it all still comes yeah. back to the same common it's denominator. The, she's the center of all the problem. Yeah, I would. I'm with okay, you. Okay. Why? Why did your mother? What? It, okay. I'm of, with you, Bird. Let's let's do this. Everybody, let's add up. Take five five men in your mind. Okay. Add up all their baby mamas, <laughs> right? And then ask yourself, how many of them got him to marry them? Nah, that's true. 
Now let's add the number up. So let's say if you got three baby mamas and I got three, that's six between us. Mm -hmm. We two men. If none of them got us to marry, the hoes can't shoot. That's just what it is. So who taught you to fail? Mm. Add up all, add you, 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 everybody here with their partners, add up all your baby mamas mm -hmm. and then ask yourself, how many of them got you to marry them? Add that number up. That's, That's not that kid, like we, we, we dumb for real. The things that we, that turn us on, they can manipulate us with their body, yep. with their mouth. They can trick us, right? Mm -hmm. So when did you stop tricking them? Where ask your mama, why did my daddy leave? Instead of her telling you, your daddy ain't nothing. Okay, tell me why he left. Mm. Cause nobody ever says, hey mama. So we, we grow up without all our fathers. I didn't mean all our mamas was dumb. Yeah, They was running niggas away from them. Mm -hmm. Because think about when you got grown. You ain't dealing with it, I ain't dealing with it. Mm -hmm. If it's a headache, he's gone. Nobody questions what she's been taught. Yeah. If she's been taught to just like, okay, I'm slamming my fist and this, that has not, girls, mm -hmm. girls don't even think, you go in your family and add up all your cousins. How many of y'all are married? How mm. many, let's, let's take it a step further. How many of y'all don't work? Yeah. How many, how many, look, how many of you are, how many of y'all are getting taken care of? I'm saying that fully. Yeah. You have no, you have nobody to look at. That means none of y'all hitting the shot. Yeah. You should have a TT that's laid back who own this, this, that, and the other, and then her sister. That means y'all are quality. You have nobody in your family that is not going to work and got a man. Yeah. Y'all ain't cut like that. You yeah, that's saying? wild. Cause I don't even know. If in society most women is even in that position at all. To do what though? When you say like to to yeah, think about okay, a girl that, that's getting taken care of. Yeah. Where she just wake up, be a housewife, take care of her body, look good. That percentage is so low. That means most of these girls is fucked up. Is that even really existent though? Like yes, that? it is. If she do everything you need, yes, it is. Yes. No, I know it I know it exists, but like it's so small, it's almost like not even really it's, you got you got negligent. a setting on you right mm -hmm. like your settings and my settings ain't gonna be the same correct if a girl hits your setting she got you if she tell you temporarily no no but look at it if she locks on mm -hmm. and gives you everything with no pushback you how you gonna bark at her yeah but the problem no verb is that for a lot of guys especially younger guys let's say you take a guy that's 30 years old right mm -hmm. and who he is at 30 is going to be completely different than who he is at 40. They don't hold us to that standard when we make a child at 18. No, I agree. I mean, yeah, like, because that's a kid. That is not a man. Bro. Yeah. That is somebody that's just humping. I agree. But they see, the, pro but the problem, though, with a lot of guys is, though, and I tell guys this all the time, they get in relationships based off of where that chick is at, not necessarily where they're going to be. Right, so mm. I'm looking at the conversation and when I tell guys and they say, Anton, I love her, I think that she's the greatest of all time. Mm. And then I say, all right, is that the chick that you that you think is gonna be still holding you down when you evolve into this great man when you turn 50? Cause the, the, the pinnacle of most guys, even if they go through a dip, let's say you make a bunch of money That's in tough. your 20s. That's tough. Right, let's, make, let's That's see you tough. make a bunch of money yeah. in your 20s. You go through a, a tumultuous phase in your life through your 30s and yeah. maybe the early part of your 40s and you catch a wave and then you have your second win mm -hmm. and that second win take off, right? Mm -hmm. Your earning potential, you don't even hit the pinnacle of who you are as a man on average until you're in your late 50s, early 60s. That's a fact. So with that being said, though, mm -hmm. right, are you with the chick based off of where you at or are you with the woman based off of where you're going to be? Because mm -hmm. I know for me, right, I'm saying – I'm gonna be in a whole nother you zone. Further down the line, right? Yeah. So the chick that I wind up aligning myself with, like my chick, that's my bottom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter mm -hmm. where I am, yeah. what I'm doing, how I'm moving. Absolutely. She gonna be there. Like, let me make sure that you good along Absolutely. the way. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these guys are in a relationship where they get into something when they 30, 28, 27, 26, that they not necessarily gonna be the same person when they turn 40. Right. 35 40 but we can cut it down we can step on it what is, is, is our mama married how long has our mama had her nigga? Mm -hmm. that's the way we can just cut the middle ground out. <laughs> like because if because <laughs> i mean she is her mother so you say yeah what your mama doing how many husbands your mama had she had three husbands you're not gonna keep one either mm. look what you learned yeah 
Like, look what you, you know, a kid cannot be athletic. If his daddy is a pro ball player, he's going to dribble that ball, bro. Mm. He's going to dribble it because he's watching it. We we become what we see. Yeah. You, do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think it's, I think, I think we overthink it. We could just, hey, what's your mama do? Uh, okay, you mix a pit bull and a cocker span, you, you ain't getting no wolf back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, what do you get back here? <laughs> it's, it's, if, we, if we had kids like dog breeding, the world would be better. Do you think it's partially, from a cultural perspective, do you think it's also the music that play a huge role in how we look at relationships or how we look at women or how women look at men? Today? Yeah, because cause yeah, it, 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 the music that rappers sell now, it, it just validates that y'all ain't shit but hoes. It makes sense because the reason why I get away with saying anything because I'm a rapper. Yeah. A rapper call y'all bitch. You know, <laughs> I mean, what? What's the difference? Like, how come I can't call her a bitch? Like, why not? Yeah. Because if I put it in, I'm a rapper. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if I, if we can call them bitches, hey, bitch, you nothing. And they going to stick their butt up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm selling you a product. If somebody make a record and say, I'm a bitch ass nigga, you ain't going, I'm turning this shit off, right? You know what I'm saying? And nobody going to admit that. They gonna, yeah. I'm turning this shit off, right? Yeah. yeah come on. So, let, so let's make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I think that's the the quickest way to answer those type of things. It seems like it's a lot of women though that's coming into the game, and I ain't even look. Look, I'm I'm more than just even just the music, mm. even within the battle rap scene. Like mm. I ain't what never. Is that? What's that kind? Of? Well, that? well, okay. What so I, all right. So let me break it down like this. Yeah, tell me about that sport, it's right? Because I'm confused. One of the reasons why I even stopped watching that sport in the first mm. place. Mm. Honestly, is because I kind of got turned off by all of the women. I just didn't want to see women battling. Yeah, I mean that's that like I that I, shit didn't appeal to me. I told them to sell pussy alone. I told them to do it. <laughs> 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 I definitely told them to sell pussy. I told them. I told them. I said, look, just think about it. Don't nobody nobody really want to hear y'all like rap and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Not no gangster shit. Cause it's like you we you're lying. I don't want to see an WNBA player though. I mean, I ain't never been to a game. I ain't either. I told, I, I told hit, him I'm I about. I hit one though. I, I did really, you really? I'm not bull. I want to tell you, but it's gonna cost. No, me. don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't I, say hey, it. No, no, I definitely was busting one up. What was I, it? What was it like? It's odd, man, because she was taller than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, like. <laughs> I mean, no, it's it's crap. But see, if I was smart, I should have got her pregnant. If I was smart. Why? What? What do you mean? Why not? If I'm six feet, she's six two. That's six five, you know what I'm saying? Where you got a better chance. Is mama a pro? I'm me shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, nah, but like, it's so crazy. One time, hey, like, stop laughing. This is some just trauma. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm opening up here, man. Like, uh, like I was, I hit her. I, it was I hitting a WNBA player because <laughs> when you, man, come on, man, like, like man, fuck y'all. I ain't that's it. Like, I'm trying to open up to to my people. And this what? Is, no, no, to, you gotta give us the game. You gotta right, so, give us the game. <laughs> I, I hear one, and this is a trip out. You know, like if you land in the bed and you look down and you say, "One of our feet is off this bed," <laughs> like and it's like it's not mine. You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> so. No, like stop, man. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> like it's it's a mind fuck because. <laughs> and they feet be big as a motherfucker too, so it's like, <laughs> no, nah, like, come on, like, I, okay, like for me, I wear a <gasps> eleven and a half, twelve. Yeah. So picture like, <laughs> like man, so it's it's a mind fuck, you know what I'm saying? Because then you say, you look down and it's veins all in the bitch leg and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop, man. Like, I'm trying to open up. Like, she got veins and her calf all perfect. Oh. And then her feet hanging off the end of the bed. Oh, and it's like, dog. that ain't my leg hanging off that bed. Like, that's Burb like a real, wild. that's a, that's a, it's a, it's sick for real. Like, it's like, like, like okay, like, you ever hit a midget before? No. I have, though. A midget? Yeah, for, for real, sure. Burb, you gotta be kidding me. Nah, that's okay to me. But NBA, WNBA player, WNBA. Wait, 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 wait. What? How do you bust down a midget? Yeah, like you put a laptop. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? Like, same thing how you sit a laptop. No, I'm serious. Like y'all, like, no, Ooh. I I hear one. I hear one in like a, a laptop. No, I hear one in a. No, I'm trying to open up and shit. That shit crazy. I don't trust y'all now. Like, 
I feel like y'all gonna use this against me. I I hit I hit a uh I hit a midget in a Camaro. That's oh. how you, that t- that tell you you ever had a Camaro? I'm sure you like a lot of cars. I had a Mustang. Don't you? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, a lot yeah. of cars, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you ain't no good man. <laughs> you know, know. That clearly just said that. But I I put one in a uh in a Camaro. Like sit the little bitch, you know what I'm saying? Duh, that's, that's I, crazy. But, but I would do that way before WNBA game. <laughs> Why? I just told you, man. No, athletic. because you can have a kid with the WNBA player. No, nah, it's too much, man. They athletic. <laughs> they be shredded too. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like, like no, nah, I'm serious. It's sick though. It's like, <sighs> but that pussy was all right though. That's crazy. Untampered with because nobody really chasing it because it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I never thought about busting down the WNBA player. You should try it. It's cool. I'm going to buy the whole front row for like $87. Oh, yeah. What the, no, no, no. The thing, if they fuck rappers, they'll get more popular. They probably already are. No, no. They got to fuck them and be seen with them. Nah, they like, ain't gonna be saying you power it. up from your nigga. It ain't from her. A girl can't power you up unless it's like Oprah. Somebody still, they ain't, we still ain't watching the games. But 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 we're gonna come though. They get at least advertisement. I would go to a WNBA game to knock off a WNBA player. I just told you they legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just told you, no, bro, no, you no, don't no, want no, no, that. Listen, like, listen, you not knocking her off because of she dope. Yeah. You knocking her off because. I knocked off a WNBA player. Yeah, but I just told you it's it's, gonna it's just a you, it's just because it's like a it's like a bucket list item. You want to you want to so knowing that you <laughs> hit her, you gonna go. To, <laughs> so knowing she running up and down, playing D, rebound. Yeah, about, it's, it's, you know how the chicks be looking at the dudes on TV and they be admiring yeah. them. I mean, guys look at that different, but still, it's just like yeah. Yeah, if they get their bodies done, what they gonna be as a athletic though? Like like I'll give you an example, right? Mm-hmm. It's funny because I look at. I look at some of these famous chicks, right? Mm-hmm. And there's some out here mm-hmm. that we know that they were passed around before they was even famous, or they may have been on a come up. Mm-hmm. But you know, we know what's really what's really what, especially if they come from your city, right? right? Or if they come from an environment that you're familiar with, right? Right, right? But then at the same time, dudes that's really knocking off a lot of these chicks, they're not saying nothing. Cause we don't really pillow talk publicly, right? Like if a dude. No, nah, we need to tell on them hoes though. But that's like, not. No- think, it's think, not normal, bro. No, I think we should, man. Fuck it. Cause it's look, not normal, bro. Nah, like you, like you know, on. it's a bunch of dudes that bust down some of these famous, famous chicks. Mm-hmm. But they just be like, oh yeah, I knocked that off. But they ain't going out and saying that they done knocked off a famous chick, right? That's just they was just a part of the the fleet at I that particular time, right? But the them. chicks. If a dude get famous or whatever, you're going to see chicks coming out of the woodwork and they like, oh, yeah, I was with him or whatever like that. Yeah. So it's a little different. So it's guys just kind of just take a mental note and it just be is what it is. Even, you're, even you're if the, you, You're the power up. I told you. They're supposed to do that. But even if you, right, mm-hmm. verb, like let's say you chilling. Yeah. And you at the bar. Yeah. And then you see a chick come in with a guy. She's like, oh, this is my husband or whatever. But you know what you was doing with her. Right. You don't say nothing. You just be like, no, oh, no, you no. know, c- congratulations. And you keep it moving. But it's just, it's, you just know. It's kind of like that type of thing. Yeah, but, but it, with the WNBA player. You, you heard Marvin's Room by Drake? Yeah, that's my fa- one of my favorite songs. We I understand. Song. I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you that's just, one of my you favorite songs. You just described songs. the whole scenario of you Marvin's being, Room. Hey, you, just, that, you traumatized, nigga. You just no, said, I'm not. you said, what if you see at the bar and you messing with a husband? I said, you heard Marvin's Room? You said, one of my favorite songs. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my joke. Marvin's Room is cold, but that's the way we feel. We just but don't guys say don't it. say nothing. We though. just don't say it. That's why it was so big because we all feel like that. Like, man, bitch. Nah, some guys, some some guys feel like it. Who? Your friends, you and your friends. Your friends, we got the same friends. Yeah, but at the same time, it's it's still. Most guys are out here oblivious. You have to teach them based yeah. off of where the oblivious ones. Because the guys that know the game know the game, but the guys that don't know the game, they out here still loving on women that they don't know that is a part of the game. But everybody that love them, you gonna fail. Like it's it's <laughs> no love hurts, man. That shit does hurt your feelings, man. Like especially when you really, cause we ain't supposed to love her, bro. Like we not supposed to love none of y'all. So it's like when when that shit turn on and you hurt me, bitch. <laughs> it's like it's like you. I understand when niggas go crazy, cause we not supposed to love y'all. You not. I don't make believe me in love, love no more like that. You don't. The older I get, the less I believe in it. Hmm. Why you got six cars? Because, but any one of them cars is is sellable. 
So you don't love for the right price, any one of them cars can go. No, I said I'm starting not to. Okay, but why? Though, like? Okay, because the older that I get, mm -hmm. it's almost like love to an extent, especially as far as relationships. Mm -hmm. That's for people that don't know no better. Because people marry because they love somebody. They don't marry for the business. They don't marry because yeah. this makes sense. I need to be able to put her to work. I need mm -hmm. to be able to, you know what I'm saying, put her in a, in a certain position. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a business. It's not, I don't look at it from a love perspective. But guy, people get married based off of love. But the more that I realize and the more, the older that I get, the more seasoned I am, mm -hmm. the more I realize that all it is is an opportunity for you to get your head cracked. Love? Yeah, hell yeah. Motherfuckers I mean, be not, crying. People say they love each other all the time, and then she be fucking your partner. I agree because how many girls you love? You know, like I've loved a lot, and I don't now. <laughs> like I'm sure you have. Like uh, no, because love is temporary. It is. Like it's a. It's like being on drugs. It, you you in nah, a, you, verb. You told him you loved him. You loved him for the moment. Yeah, but you still had a feeling for her that was different from everybody else. But then it stops. Just like if you a hard breakup will heal, man. I used to love like a couple girls, man. It was tough for me. <laughs> At the same time? Yeah, I was hurt, man. <laughs> yeah, like, damn, we we get our feelings hurt, it's a problem. Damn, what the fuck? That bitch hurt me, man. What the fuck are you talking about? It's like when you sit back and say, I loved you. I don't know, Verb. Matter, man, please, man. Shit. I don't know, it's man. Tough I, don't, to turn it on. I don't think you should get that close to him. You don't? Mm -mm. So you 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 really think you should just hit him and leave? Is that what you're completely detached because i mean post not clarity is real anyway now see they'll say who hurt you who hurt you he's been hurt that that's the first <laughs> thing they're gonna say who hurt you and then and then if it is a bitch that hurt you they ain't gonna say nothing to her they're gonna say who hurt you haha ha, who hurt you I she don't did think that a, uh, <laughs> i don't think that a woman could hurt me yeah it's tough i don't think that a woman can because i mean i ain't never been hurt before you ain't never been in love mm -hmm. and been hurt never i think oh shit i not think we all time. been hurt now I have never, ever in my entire life ever been hurt. Like a girl never hurt your feelings? Not one. Man, God. Never. Well, when it happened to you, it's going to be like chicken pox at 30. It ain't going to happen to me, Bert. Shit, you crazy. Boy, with that shit, boy, you better get that shit over early, boy. Nah, I ain't never been hurt in my life. Not one time. No woman has hurt you. Mm -mm, not even my mother. Not even my mom. Your mama can't hurt you. Mm -mm. My mama can't hurt me either. Not because, and all, but the only reason that my mother can't hurt me is because all I've ever known mm -hmm. up until, because my father died in a car accident in like 2017. Oh, man, this is this is life. I mean, you know, life happens to everybody, right? You never know where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. But all the way up until he passed away, like they were like the prototype. Mm -hmm. Like nothing ever wrong, nothing mm -hmm. ever issue, no problems, no none of that. Like yeah. they were like perfect couple perfect parents mm. all of that right. and so now that she had got widowed yeah she got remarried but i mean you know i ain't calling it that nigga his he his first name yeah man I mean, <laughs> you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah. like that ain't my father yeah, no. so you know you can't hurt me so do you think that do you you know one thing i i noticed i feel like if we really was in love you you shouldn't get nobody else Cause I, right. I I don't feel like I don't I feel like if he meant that much to you, you don't get nobody. Man, I believe. Nah, I, uh -uh. I, 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 I believe mm -mm. that you should. She gotta get. She gotta get it. She gotta but go she back. was. She wasn't. She wasn't looking for it. She was working for me. Um, at the time I had owned this restaurant out there in the suburbs. She was working for me, mm -hmm. and the dude was just like, you know, he was, he was in love, and this was like a few years after you know, whatever, and so whatever, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But again, I look at marriage as more like a, like an arrangement, like a business. Like it is a company. Yeah. It's a company. So, you know, I don't want her to be by herself. And then, you know, I don't want her to be just. But that don't make you feel like this shit fake as hell. If hell it's like, no. if it's like, okay, if I know that you telling me you love me every day and then you'll get somebody else. Mm -mm. Hell no. I think it's kind of fake, but you ask me. Mm -mm. I, mean, I think that, I think, that I think that that's logical to move on. Yeah, absolutely. Time heals all wounds. As a matter of fact, I think that moving on helps heal the wound. I don't I, want you sitting around moping all day. I think certain girls that have that power, it'll make me say, "Nah, I'm, I, I don't even want to compare this again." 
You know, and it's funny because yeah. it, it's so funny because she had brought them to me or mm. to all of our my brothers because I got three brothers, no sisters. Mm. Maybe that's kind of the way I am. That's damn right it is. You ain't had nothing running around tripping. No. Nah. And so yeah. she brought them to us and she, you know, well, she didn't bring them to us. That's but the, she introduced that, that's us. That's the answer right there. She introduced us and she was having a conversation mm -hmm. with us and she was like, yo, I don't, you know, and we just kind of pushed her. Yeah. Like, no, listen, we don't want you just hanging out by yourself or whatever. You need right. somebody to be able to spend some time with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So enjoy right. your life. Right. And so she took our advice and she went and got remarried. Uh, that shit, that shit, I think it's something for me. Certain girls that have had impact in my life mm. that if I was with at a time or something happened, it's just, I, I think I, if they had that power, nah, some of them got that power. Some of them is all around the board where it's like, this one is I, right, and you don't even want to just, I don't even want to be let down no more. I, but I can't be hurt partially though, over because yeah. I don't put nothing past a woman. You can't put nothing past. Them. So you can't hurt me with something that I'm already prepared for. Yeah, for sure. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tripping. Yeah. That's the game. Yeah. I ain't tripping off that. So Why you're would not I be... gonna never give her enough to hurt you anyway, though. Well, like, I don't know. You say so you're not gonna. Well, give I, her let a me pool, say this. Though. I think that. I think that. My bottom, my mm -hmm. chick, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The chick that I'm married to, my my girl, mm -hmm. which I've been with her for for forever. But mm -hmm. she could. I don't think that she ever would, though. Okay, so she's, she she's proven herself too many times. I mean, but that's I think that I think that that's a smart thing to do. Like I think if it's real, like that, like that, I don't think you should. Nah, I think that's wrong. What's wrong? Like if you, like if something happened to me, her to get remarried? No, nah, I'm hate on her. Well, you supposed to because you know me. Yeah, but it's like no, nah, you can't get no man. What you talking about? But she still should. I mean, she can't live like uh, what's she gonna do at that time? Hmm. No, nah, people should be tripping with her every time they saw her. If she thought she was having a good time, <laughs> so by no nah, people should get mad at I mean, her. I think you should remarried? document that, right? Yeah, like if it's, if it's that. You should be doing shit. What do you What do you say if anything was to ever happen, or if we was to get divorced? What, what did you What do you always say? If something were to happen, you wouldn't even get divorced. Let's just say if we was to get divorced. It doesn't even make sense because I'm not going to work with you no more. Like, Would you ever talk to anybody else? No. Ever? She said it all the time. Damn right, we not letting you. She so, says she like, she she said she says she would never talk to anybody else if anything. Ever well, if she ever changed her mind, we playing dope on him and everything. Hey, <laughs> hey, well, yeah, nigga, you crazy motherfucker. That's what we gonna do. Hey, you punt that dope on him. Hey, hey, damn right, get this nigga up out of here, man. What the fuck? But but you at the same so, time, nigga. no verb. Listen, you thought you was getting that pussy. I mean, that's 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 dope, and I believe her for now. Yeah. But I'm not naive enough to believe that if anything happened to me today that she going to be by herself for the next 40 years. Yeah. I'm not crazy. I mean, a human is going to preserve it. Yeah, so I'm time. not going to sit here and act like no fool. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I think that most guys get caught up. They out here living in la-la land. Yeah. And then when they, you know, when they when a chick that's not even loyal like mine's mm. go out here and they find out that they son not theirs, <sighs> they heartbroken, bro. But if you find out one of your sons, one of yours, you leaving them? I ain't got no son. Well, let's say if you had, like, you thought this kid was your son until he was five. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gone. You are gone, right? Mm -hmm. Me too. I, I don't think that you should stay. I don't either. But some people will say, I'm going to stay. That's my kid. I don't believe she in that. She benefit too much for that. I don't believe in that. For being dirty, she get a father too? <clears throat> nope. No, 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 sir. That shit cut off. I don't believe in the emotional. I'm, I'm, I'm cold-blooded. Yeah. Like, I will cut. I will cut you off shit, shit. without even thinking twice. Absolutely. I am cold blooded. I don't believe in that emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in none of that shit, yeah. bro. So, I'm pretty cold. They say, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I think I'm pretty. But but verb. I yeah. think that post nut clarity is real, bro. Like let's say for example, you get with a chick, right? Yeah. And you bust her down literally in the millisecond. She don't look good. Yeah. They don't believe that either. I tell them that. I'll be like, hey, your whole face changed when I nut. It does, your bro. Your whole face changes because our bodies, again, tell us to get away from you. You look good into that last four or five pumps. When that when the last drips up, come out, yep. your face has did a whole three. They don't they don't understand but they, they don't, don't believe, believe in that. We even look at her like, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like when she stand up and walk away, we like, yeah. nasty. <laughs> but see, Verb, that's why I don't understand the concept of side chicks. Why not? You still need them, though. Because why would I get emotionally attached to somebody that I don't care about? I'm not even supposed to care about you. Yeah. Like, I'm not spending no money, no resources, no nothing on you. So you wouldn't buy no pussy? Hell no. So you would rather talk to her? Because she going to do it for free. She yeah, going but it for you, clout. Yeah, but if you talk to her, you're going to pay more. Or you could just pay You're going to talk to her even if you're paying, paying her. But I just said, give me, I got 200 How much for that? So you, you don't have to call me no more if I nah. give you $200. I think that she going to do it for, I think that she going to do it for the clout. Cloud is a drug. She going to do it for, I don't, honestly, I think that guys that have money just need to pay for, if they paying, then they paying for convenience. Mm. I don't think that they need to pay because they have to get it because it's chicks that's going to do it just because you, you. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's in any field though. If they, if you one of them, they going to just do it for that. Yeah. Like they if, if you out with me and yeah. we eating, yeah. you going to eat or you know yeah. what I'm saying? If I, if I'm flying over here and I need to fly you, you need, I want you to roll with me because I need, I think that dudes that have, that got resources and visibility, they doing it based off, off of convenience. They not right. doing it because they have to pay you. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely. it's a difference. Yeah. Or I'd rather hurry up and get you out of here. Even if they paying, right? They doing it because, listen, I don't want no feelings attached. I just want you to get up out of here or whatever, so on and so forth. But I don't think that they don't have to. No, I don't think you should. It's like you don't have to have one car. That's the same <laughs> thing we're going to keep saying that because you, you, uh, you keep trying to walk away from that shit like you a good man and shit. Like, no, you I. Are, you, 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 you don't want side chicks, but you got six cars. So no, no. What is the other five to because, the main but, quarter? But. But the side chicks require, see, the cars maintain a val maintain value. What's your main car? Uh, the Porsche. That's your main car? That's the one I drive the most. The every day? Yeah. Well, What's the every, give me the, up. give me the, the, the Porsche. The, the Porsche is the go to the store car, right? Yeah. All right. So what is the other five around it? You treat them a little different because you no, don't put as many see, miles okay, on them. Okay, so let me tell you about I mean, my, my car holes. Let's right? go. Let's talk about it. So the one, one of them is the one that I like to... Had a driver come and pick you up from the airport. Foreign girls. Yeah. Man. So that's that. Foreign, yeah. And then. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Makes sense. Like, like, a lot of features. Then I got my. Uh, a lot of features. My my nostalgia is the one that, the 96 Impala. That's the one that I wanted when I was in high school that I couldn't get. The Cougar. Yeah. The old head. Yep. You go see on Sundays. Get some, <laughs> get some greens and macaroni and cheese from it and shit. Yeah, yeah. And then I got the novelty. The novelty is the Tesla. Oh, that's the, so that's your new little young freak. Yeah. All right, that's the nice. Tesla. Maka, you sick. Let's go. You got a, <laughs> so you got an old girl. You got a little young freak, little fast bitch, huh? And then I got yeah. the, uh, uh -huh. I just picked one up. Literally, when did we pick, the, when did I pick that up, Rita? The latest, the car. Okay, so I picked one up on Tuesday. Oh, tell us, that's, that's, what, what, tell us about it. That's, that's, I paid 100000 for that one. So that one is the, the Ford truck? Raptor. The Raptor? Oh, so you need a big bitch, too. It's the Bronco Raptor, though. The drop top. Yeah. You like a big bitch with big titties. <laughs> that is you like. He, he, you like big bitches with big titties, too. Oh, and then I got yeah, my like and then that. I got my get around, right? What's the get my get around is like the low key one. So you get in there, you ain't gotta worry about nobody paying attention. Like a Honda or something like it's that. It's a Hyundai. So it's, it's just a Tucson. The throwaway. The throwaway yeah. freak. Well, right? it's not a, I like that car. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, it's cool. You know? Get me to and from where I need to go. It yeah, ain't no she don't cost visit. that much, you know. It, <laughs> Gas her up quick, you know what I'm saying? I know you, a, you ain't fooling me, nigga. You, you, you a freak. You like to have multiple women. You just described all your women in one in one setting. You pick me up in some form, right? Uh, you like the little features on her, like you say. I, I bought a truck. You like a big bitch from time to time. Got a little fast bitch, a little Tesla. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is what you your personalities. If you liked all, if you was a good man, you would have bought six Yukons. You'd have bought. The 2020. So you saying it ain't no good me in there? No, I just told you that. Like, what the fuck? Who who wants to have one car? There's some guys that only got one car, Bird. Name me one man on the planet no, that's had I, one I, brand of car. We may not life. necessarily know him personally, but there are. It's a guy that drives a Toyota Camry. Mm -hmm. He go to work every day. He come home mm -hmm. and he he go to church on Sunday. So There's it. no man on the planet that has drove one brand of car his entire life. No, that's no, true, but no, he only owns one car at a time, though. Yeah, but he didn't buy the same car showing consistency. Like, if you, if your first car was a Toyota, your 16th car is not a Toyota. 
It's not. <laughs> oh, he didn't know. He never bought another car. No man keeps the same. He never brand. bought another car. It's it's some guys that keep it for a long time. No bird. But nobody keeps it. Still, you still get rid of it. Like it's still <laughs> once the mileage gets too high, and that's that represents us fucking on them. Once we get tired of fucking them, we gonna sell it to another person to go fuck on. Easy. When we hear yeah, the that's, squeaking that's on her, true. and you know, we get rid of the car. But they don't. I, I think a lot of girls don't realize the older they get to us. I don't even want to say it, but it is. No, the I mean truth. that's the truth. I mean it's the truth. They don't. They. I said this, and they. It was an uproar. I said. After 35, like you really are, I seen that. You really are nothing for real because I seen that. We can't change you. You still 35, no matter what you look like. You know what's so funny? You said that, mm -hmm. and you were on the plane. Yeah. I was talking to Rashad. He said the same fucking thing at the thing. same time. Literally, n everything that you just said, he it's, literally just said it. It's a vibration waking up in us in certain people though right now. Mm -hmm. Like all the crazy people was getting hired, you know. Everybody who think outside the box is going up. Yeah. Because we're a different vibration. Yeah. It's like the simps have told the girls, like Derek Jackson, them yep. type of niggas, he told them girls everything they wanted to hear and they gave them their money. Yep. You tell them the truth that I don't like you. You know what the thing about it, though? So, I think that Jer Derek Jackson is probably, I think he wanted the best to ever do it. Uh, he got to be. He manipulated the whole culture. I think he wanted, yep, I agree. He made our girls at home hate us. Yep. Yeah, that nigga, he, he need to go to <laughs> <He's> jail. <running. laughs> really, you need some jail time. Where my boy Donnie at? Dude, you need some jail time. <laughs> Get Donnie back in here, you going to jail, nigga. That don't even make, how, how, do you, how do you manipulate a whole culture and then make our girls hate us? Yep. Yep. You make our girl say, well, he said this. You man, he And then he did an you, interview man. and said that he it wasn't his fault. Who he blamed it on? <laughs> he blamed it on his chick. His oh, wife. I'm with you on that, Dirk. <laughs> yeah. shit, it was that girl's fault who did it to Dirk. He man. said it was his chick's fault. He said that he take responsibility, but it wasn't all his fault. I mean, yeah, but they'll never blame the girl, though. When do they blame the girl? I think it's all women's fault. I think so, too. I'm I with think that. it's 100% women's fault. Everything, Everything that we see going on Everything today is Everything in the woman. world. They are the, they the loudest vibration on the planet, man. Everybody want to, you noticed on Fashion Nota they took the black girl down? No, I didn't know Bitches that. Bitches don't know how to act. They got foreign girls up there with their bodies now. Mm. Pay attention. So y'all think it's a game. You playing and embarrassing yourself, it's, it's destroying your chances. Mm. Go to Fashion Nova. They got y'all curved, but it's foreign girls on the front of the thing, man. Mm. So every, they're not even highlighting y'all no more. You, you guys are not even on the front of anything. They pushing y'all to the back because they're tagging y'all as ignorant, belligerent, yelling, destructive. Like they're they're tagging y'all with that. In 20 years from now, the entire world will be mixed. They need mm. our genetic to go inside them. Y'all don't see this coming? Like the world is about to change. How do you survive? Like we have to get inside other races. Mm. Our genetic, think about the ball players we make. Why, what a ball player is like a mutant. Mm -hmm. They, they're the strongest, fastest. They can do <laughs> shit that can't no nigga do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, like, no, you would know. You, you said know it. You said they're like, gladiators. They're, they're not humans, man. Like, they yeah. don't feel pain. Them motherfuckers run and jump. They take, they, they can take extreme heat. These motherfuckers different. Like, they ain't even humans. I know they're not. So, so when, why not make more when, of these uh, motherfuckers? When Rashad was coming through, mm -hmm. uh, it's funny because... Uh, she was like, uh, I, I need to make sure I know who it is. Is, is he tall? I said, all of the motherfuckers is tall. Fucking ball players, man. That's all of these niggas is, is mutants. Seriously, they yeah. are, bro. Like, like our athleticism is nothing to them. <laughs> like they look at us like, oh, you shut up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's like they look at us as like little toys they can just break. Like yeah. you look at the like like I like I'm cool with a lot of boxers and shit. I'm a lot of athletes, football yeah. players, Gerald McCoy, uh, Bud Crawford. Like when you see yeah, shout you out see to Bud. Her, yeah, shout out and hey, the fighters is in the Midwest for real. Bud, yeah. Floyd, we yep. got to it. Yep. If you really want to. Grand Rapids. If, if we want to talk Louis, our shit. Like, like we got champions all through the Midwest. Yep. We got Floyd. We got mm -hmm. we got Bud. We had a lot of people. Yeah. Big Shot. We had Devin, Alex. We had a lot of people. Corey Spinks, Leon Spinks. We get we produce fighters. Yeah. We produce. Hey, who you think will win, though? Prime and Prime. Bud and Floyd. Floyd. I mean, I know you're going to think that. You know I'm going to take Floyd first. That's a tough fight, man. No, it ain't. 
them the two best niggas to ever do it. Man. I think that Floyd is the is Floyd Floyd look, look and I'm cool Floyd with Floyd is a master. Floyd I is think a, that he is the greatest boxer to ever live. We never seen nothing like that, man. I don't I like, don't think we ever he's have. he's able to do how he was beating on opponents and destroy what he did. He beat them and they and listen, bro, the ones that we Canelo beat him bro, into he submission. He made him look like a, a child. Baby. Baby, uh, we just watched that recently. A child, made that's him, crazy. And he was thirty six. I know. That's what I'm saying. Come on, man. We do that. We talk that boss. Like he was thirty six years old when he beat on that boy like that, bro. I, and I think that Floyd is the greatest of all time, of of all time. All right, now I'm gonna tell you my theory too. Floyd is like, Floyd is witchcraft. We uh, we never <laughs> seen. Like, like some of these niggas, like come on, if you beat every nigga you, I th and Floyd was pulling up on you, like oh he like that, give him, give him to me then. Regardless, uh, regardless of when he fought y'all, he whooped Floyd all y'all ass, man. <laughs> yeah, he whooped all y'all ass and a couple y'all twice. Like you know what I'm saying, like he he get on y'all niggas, right? Hey, oh. hey, Verb hmm. think that everything is a demon too. I'm it gonna is. just tell y'all that's a gift too. Boxing is not a guilt. <laughs> How could you be able to be in a pocket with a nigga? Because I go, I go play around with like you. You in the pocket with a pro, and he can predict every one of your movements. These niggas love to get hit. <laughs> like, have you touched their skin, bro? They love to get hit. Yeah. Like you hit them, they say, "Oh yeah." It's like mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> kill that nigga. What you talking? Know? <laughs> like, that, and, and they and they look at it as as combat sports. <laughs> like it's like Troy to these niggas or something. Like like when you just see like the way like I I look at Bud as the destroyer. Yeah. You just sent him in and go. I made a lot of money off him. You damn right. I made a lot of money off him. Coach Red and them, they know what they're doing with him, man. I made a lot of money off that boy. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you why I never bet against him. I never, his story is too familiar with me. Yeah. I know his story. I'm looking right at it because that's my story. Mm -hmm. I know we fight harder. Yeah. That man was shot in the head and became who he was. You don't bet against that on nothing. I don't give a yeah. fuck what you throw at. I made a lot of money off his last fight. I made a ton of money. Yeah, I mean, because we watch him. You come from a fighter's place. Yeah. You watch Floyd. What does Floyd say? Oh, Floyd said that? We going with Floyd said that. Yeah. But Tank a monster, too. No, Tank is brilliant. He's a, he's I don't a even know where Tank from. You're on the Baltimore. Is he? Yeah, he act like a Baltimore nigga. That nigga's crazy. Well, Tank, you know, he don't really talk a lot. He don't need to. He just hitting shit. Yeah, I know. Tank don't I talk. I would like to spar with Mike Tyson now. I don't. I just want to see what if I sometimes a pain freak. Now, man. now, when you talk about spirits and shit, yeah. what take over him depending on where it is that he's been at in his life, yeah. that shit is real. It happened to all in of In real them. life. You think so? Yeah. I remember I was watching that interview, um, and he was talking to some white guy, and he – he was talking, I think he was talking about the the passing of his daughter or something yeah, like that. that. Was sad, and he was like, and he just asked the guy to leave, like, yo, because it seemed like something was really coming over him to where he was turning into a monster. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he didn't want him to see that. That shit was scary to but see that junk play out in real time like that, he bro. He's the baddest man on the planet. His his gift was to be the <sighs> toughest man walking this planet. You better get away from him when he say that. Like nobody mm. whoops that. I think Mike got out at the right time though too. Got Cause out I was out. watching the Vander Holyfield talk. Uh -huh. He can't really talk. It looked like it's it looked like something wrong with him. Like he not really able to. It, it, he talked like he got Alzheimer's or something. Man, they bro. get hit in the head a lot. Yeah, that ain't normal, bro. He talked like he got Alzheimer's. Rap bro. Make, it's side effects from rap though. What, what 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 side effects you think come from rap? Shit, I know. I'm one of them. It's it's your thoughts will drift. It is. It's like we, what we do is create a movie in our head and then we sell it to you. We shouldn't be able to do that. Mm. That's like conjuring a spirit for real. Over time, you're just like, damn, you're just like, sometimes you'll just space out a little bit because we burning our brain down like an athlete. Like y'all bodies at 30 is, it, well, okay, a 30 year old body in y'all field is old because they got so much impact that they put. That's why when they get older, they, they lack like testosterone and shit because they burn so much of it. I learned this from football players, drug mm. Like they they burn so much testosterone, that's what they use to heal their bodies. Mm -hmm. That's they they have to get. Am I am I right or wrong? Okay, look, even the healing, what they do is unreal. Running up and down the court at an impact like that, hmm. like when you see how they change directions, the weight they put on their ankles is not normal. They're freaks, bro. To yeah. be able to sit here and do this, you have a gift. It's a freak.
to be yeah. able to nobody's here nigga and we're talking like we're talking to ourselves <laughs> like this some wild ass shit nigga. yeah but that's because i don't know it, i think everybody got a you was right i think that everybody does have a gift mm -hmm. very few people actually nurture it though uh, it's, it's but fear. i don't think that your gift is the thing that cr created the initial visibility for it's, you though it's not i'm just good i'm just a look good at everything it's just one of them people that's like that it, our lives is designed already so you 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 use this to get where you have to go mm -hmm. so you use it's, it's a flyer okay all of my biggest connections came from rap all of my star partners came the places i got it came from rhyming words yeah i've also done movies from rhyming words mm -hmm. and so it's like you need that but is that the last stop, the last train to Paris? No. I don't want you to even stay in that lane no more, bro. I'm done rapping, bro. You know, rapping is the devil. They say that they can bring you out of retirement, though, bro. Six, That's what they six, keep saying. Six figures, it costs that, though. Yeah. Like, people don't know. Smack stole a lot of money from us. Yeah, I was hearing you say that, bro. For sure. I was hearing you talk about that. Uh, yeah. Beasley and URL and yeah. all of that. Well, actually, what they did what they did was was, was right. Well, Okay, for all the industry people watching, I'm going to tell you all a little secret. Pay attention. It's a lot of money in battle rap. They the stupidest rappers on the planet and they make a lot of money. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. Like, there are rappers that are getting paid high five figures. You talking anything from 40 to 60 to 80 to $100,000 mm -hmm. to rap. Okay, they draw in a traffic on the pay-per-view stream. For this long, Smack had knew that. Mm -hmm. And he shut the window down so nobody else would find out. Of course. It's brilliant, though. The only thing he did wrong was they told us we was family with them. That's yeah, the only thing they, that, they, that they it, removed it, it from being business. Once I, because if you tell me you fuck with me, I believe that. Yeah. And it's easy for you to get me now. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. easy for you to get me. I don't believe in that verb. No, nah, you got to be straight up with me. You yeah. be straight up with me, then it's cool. If it's just business and you beat me, so what? That's business. Yeah. Nobody wins in business. But when you say we family, mm -hmm. that's where you go wrong. That's I mean, even wrong. like you didn't have to ask me, like, you coming to the flight, I'm like, nah, you flying first class. Yeah, of course. Like, no, I'm gonna give you the best hotel room. Oh no, he did everything the correct the correct. But way. I mean, that's just how I do things. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. You, that's how I do things. I don't I don't you ain't gotta ask me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That ain't gotta be a part of it. That's just the way that we gonna roll. No, like how he played it. He, I mean, he could tell the type of people. I've done this like for a while. Yeah. I've been in them seats. So it's okay, let's do it. But I didn't say, hey, do this. Yeah. You know, because now nah, you, you just come. You come fuck with people. Relationship better than anything. Yeah, but yeah. I, but we're going to get a lot of money in the future. Oh, we're definitely going to get a lot of money <laughs> in the future, for sure. But that's crazy that you said that they don't know um, the business side of it. Right. Because, see, my thing is, is if I fuck with you, mm. I'm going to show you the business side. Yeah. Like, I want you to get money. Yeah. You know for what sure. I'm saying? For like, sure. when we get money together, mm -hmm. the more money you get, the more money I'm going to get. Also, because I'm a leap for, you know what I'm saying? I'm a lean off Absolutely. of the insight that you have in order to continue to run it up. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. And then we pass the information down. Yeah. Like anytime you go on a new field, you tie in. Yep. You know, you, you okay, let me show you this. Okay, and I can show you this. This adds to that. Mm -hmm. This worked for me. They ain't doing this. And you pass, we, our people don't pass information. Yeah. We get information, shut the door and be quiet. Why? But man? it's dumb because if it's ten of us that's that's all rich, 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 you never fall off. Yeah. I mean, if you you can go jack your money off and say, "Hey, look, bro, I need ten million right quick. Throw it to me." And it's mm -hmm. there it is. Yep. Because we done made two hundred million together. Yep. Throw him that ten, and you got ten partners. You go get ten million from them. You back in the same boat you was. Yep. You're right. All off your relationship, but that's that's the only every every other culture beats us. And that's how they beat us. Yeah, I agree. That's the only way they beat us because we really, I said in the rap, I said, I, I battled a white boy. And I said, the tears you getting, I said, the cheers you getting, they mean nothing because blacks embrace they clones. Cheers for me are worth double because niggas hate they own. Mm. That's when you really mm. think about it. You say, if my people cheer, it's really that. Because mm -hmm. our people look and say, uh-uh, not him, regardless. It's a natural mm. thing with us. That's how the white, ever since I say whatever I say, you think them white folks ain't, ain't been fucking with me? <laughs> they love me, shit, I'm with Brett. I don't be playing, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm with Brett, nigga, I ain't, I'm with Brett, comb that shit back. I'm with y'all, cause that they, they can tell, oh, the niggas are standing, oh, we like this. We like mm. it. Yeah, cause we can dictate, we can tell what each other is. Mm. We can tell if he powerful, if he gonna be that. It's just sometimes niggas can't stand it. Yeah. 
They cannot stand it, but it makes us stronger. That's why we fight the hardest. That's why when we get in position, we last the longest. Mm -hmm. Because we know we can't go back. It, all athletes got it in their mind. Like with y'all playing ball, y'all the best niggas out of the best niggas. Mm -hmm. Like that itself says I'm finna go play harder than everybody else. Because that means like it's, if it's what? How many jobs? How many seats is it? Four? 300? Four? That uh, ain't a lot at all. So, so you got to pick from that. That's all the seats y'all have. The in, in the entire world, we have to pick 300, 400 of y'all. These are the best people on the planet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That That is, once they get there, that itself says, they don't even have to average, they don't have to play. If they get on that bench, the, them is the best people in the world. Correct. In the entire fucking world. You know, it's world. so funny because uh, <laughs> I remember back in the day, uh, we used to play at this place called, was it Basketball City? No, it was Joe Dumars Fieldhouse. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when you see them on a court or whatever, because they playing against their peers, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's kind of parody within mm -hmm. the league as far as, like, you know, the ability to be able to do certain things or whatever. You're going to have people that stand out. For sure. But it was, this, it was this guy, and I remember his name. His name was Mikey Moore. Mm -hmm. And Mikey Moore was in the league. And so Mikey looked just regular on the fucking court. Man, I seen that motherfucker at Joe Dumars Fieldhouse looking like, a, yeah. looking like LeBron out there. I mean, he ain't got no job there. Shit, like in well, the, against in, these mere mortals, though, that motherfucker was looking like LeBron out out at uh Joe Dumars Fieldhouse. He was just a regular guy. Mm -hmm. Man, I seen this dude looking like an all star out but there. He I should said, have. That's crazy how the the difference between people that look at the game and say, "Oh yeah, I think I would be able to do that," and yeah. what you really able to do, it's not the same, bro. Yeah. It's not the same, man. But but you should dominate them if you the best at it. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't clap for no ball players killing no YMCA nigga. But see, that's why I don't even uh that shit kill you ain't doing that shit to I them, respect nigga. everybody in their respective field. Like you, yeah. you know, your ability to be able to communicate. That's why I know that you you built for this uh yeah. this content creation. Mama, I, actually they told me young I was gonna be a pastor. You sound like one. No, nah, I just I, I You sound like I, one. I mean, uh, you, you might as well listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> at least I'm gonna tell you what's right for right now. Like if you, I mean, I'm saying you go to church, they <sighs> reading out a book that's like 700 years old. Yeah. These rules don't, they got iPhones and shit. Like yeah, they had that yeah. shit back then. Like, so at least listen to me. I, I can get a church. I think I can get a church. Yeah. How, I mean, how many cars should I have outside the church? Six. How many church bands should I have? Two, nigga. Two, two church bands. Not two church how bands, many, six cars. How many? How many? How many uh, first ladies? Now here we go. One visible. One and the rest were. In Shadows. the audience. In the audience. Yeah. So you keep everything private, huh? <laughs> you got to be able to keep your eye on them. Yeah, I'm gonna tell on you too. <laughs> first time we go out, I'm telling on you <laughs> for sure. Now, and now if a nigga, if a nigga got a good girl, I'm telling on you though for sure. No, oh, that don't matter though. Chica, you a dummy. That Chica, don't matter. You a dummy. That don't, that don't matter, Verb. It don't matter? Nah. Yeah. I mean, I just uh, wanted to she, do it. Though. She know you before you went out there. Man, let me tell you something, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't no chick. 99% of these chicks already know who they man is before they even hit, up, hit the Hell door. yes. They not yeah, they yeah. not confused. They know yeah. what he doing. They know what it was, what's going on. They not uh, based off of no misunderstanding. You got to mistreat her anyway, though. They respect him more when you mistreat her. Everybody know that. Like the the better you are to her, she lose respect. You like, said it. Not I mean, me. that's the uh, you ain't. Verb disagree. said it. I didn't say that. I one. mean, uh, uh, any man to tell you. I didn't say it whether I agreed or disagreed. I just you know, said we he ain't said listening it. to no hoes. They we ain't listening to them anyway. They lost. Yeah. If we be better than them, the 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 better he like. Oh, that's why the nice guy don't ever get the ass. And no, they, they never do. They fuck with the d boys and shit because they bodies tell them. Yep. Their bodies tell them find a king, find a champion, find that's what their bodies tell them to do. Yep. They settle for the suckers. Yep. But their body tells them I need a champ. Mm -hmm. We got to be real with ourselves, bro. They that that's a this is everything we've been told is a lie. Like they want to be dog, they want to be cuz it's oh, exciting. I, I was told the truth. Yeah, they it's exciting. Yeah. They want to you know what it is? They don't love us as much as we think. They want to beat the other girls. It's a, it's, they're catty. They're naturally cat. I want to take your nigga. I want to do this. Come on, man. The better you treat her, her her respect drops for you. If you dogging Verb, her. Verb, you preaching. That's the truth. You preaching. And Verb said it, not me. I mean, it's the truth. Come, You ain't never, like, how many girls have you dogged and she kept coming back? <laughs> oh, Verb, I treat them all like queens. 
No, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. You talking about one visible? That's a motherfucking lie. No, you. I don't. treat them like queens, man. No, no, you don't. That's a, you talking about? No, that's a lie. I don't, I don't believe that. <laughs> no, sir. I treat them like a queen, baby. No, sir, I do not. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I, I notice in my, in my experiences, <laughs> if I'm cheating on a, it, they both gonna treat me good. I don't believe you cheating, no, Bert. I mean, I'm just saying when I was yeah. a fool, a lost nigga, I was afraid. Yeah. Like. If I was, as, as long as she knew it's another one, they both act good. Yeah. Because they trying to beat me. You feel me? I believe that the competition starts once you get married, though. I believe that the dating starts once you get married. You think so? Absolutely. The, ring, the, the ring brings power, huh? No, because I, I, I ain't never wearing no ring. Okay. I like I that ring. ring. Um, but I, I do think that that's when it, I think that that's where women miss, where they mess up is that, they think that getting comfortable because they got a ring mm -hmm. is the thing that's gonna keep them. That's not it. Mm -mm, no, you gotta get better. Yeah. Because if he evolved, you gotta go too. You gotta work. Like if he get better, you gotta get better. If yep. you stay the same, he's done with your ass. That's 100%. Because if that man is getting stronger and stronger and his girl ain't get, like, cause we like, she's a reflection of what we are. Yep, you 100% you know right, She's a bro. reflection. So if she chooses, if I'm going up, and she's choosing I'ma stay like this, mm -hmm. you're gonna get left, sis. Yep. There ain't nothing you can do about that because he's steady going. Yep. Now if he stays still, you can be whoever you wanna be. But see, but that's it, why I said in the beginning where I would say you gotta you gotta rock based off of where you projected to be, not necessarily mm -hmm. where you at though. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But some but some niggas are for the moment though. They no, I'm with that. Yeah. I, I believe that too. Yeah. I mean, I think almost all most girls is for the moment. I think that the you can't stand no bitch. That's why I like you. You, <laughs> you know what it is though. No Honestly, no nah, man. You a lot of these me. guys, well, like yeah. a lot of these guys, they trying to make a they trying to make a career, mm. a career move mm. with a chick that wasn't supposed to be in the building in the first place, bro. <sighs> Honestly, man, like they'll get with a chick, and then they falling in love with her, and they telling her they love her, mm. and I ain't talking about telling her they love her on some like I love what you do. They saying I love you for who you are. Yeah. And they they mess up the game for themselves because when she was only supposed to be a moment and she don't even love you, bro, they made her, you know what I'm saying, a forever chick. And they I, fall in love with her and they start spending an egregious amount of time with her, acting like she's she she with them, but she she for uh, she for all of us. That's athletes though. They trick athletes more. You think so? You know they trick athletes more than rappers. They trick the younger ones. They trick athletes, period. Like, an athlete, think about it. Athlete don't have time to go out here and find out who the hood rest is. He's training. He's lifting. He's eating. He's running. He's. They know, though, inherently, though, bro. No, they don't. They, they're, how, many, how many athletes How many athletes have the same baby mama opposed to rappers with the same baby mama? The <laughs> athletes, be they be doubling up. You I don't know, know if you look at some of these chicks, like the... um. What's that chick that just did a photo shoot? Up I got here? you. She did it up here? No, nah, she did a photo shoot for like some kid shoes. Um, mm -hmm. They say that she like Blake Griffin baby mama or mm -hmm. it could be somebody else's baby mama, something like that. Yeah. All of them kind of get the same chicks pregnant a lot of times though too. I mean. Oh. Who? Wow. It just happened to Brandon Ingram and uh, yeah. Anthony Simons. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 it's too many girls y'all can pick from, bro. It's just like. Take one from Target. If you're gonna do that, she no, nah, I'm saying if you That's take too one, much work though, Verb. No, nah, it's cheaper. But it's more it's inconvenient. But you got a longer lifespan with her. She from Target. The, she's never <laughs> man, y'all be finna make me sound like I'm crazy, bro. Like if I'm a if I'm a ball player, I don't want what you have. Yeah. Give me I'm going to Target or Walmart. I'm gonna snatch one of them. Mm -hmm. She works at Walmart. You got a life longer time with her because she ain't seen shit. The yeah, first time but, she gets to get into some flashy, but it's she's more sitting. convenient just to see her and and knock her off that at that particular moment, though. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I got I got to go find a chick at Target. Because the chick at Target ain't really visible. You ain't got to solicit if she worked there. It's always a cute bitch at Target. It's it's, it's <laughs> man, y'all be true. It's all, it's, These niggas ain't going to Target. Man, yes, they do. Where they get their stuff from? Where do where, so where the rich niggas get their shit from? They not going out to Target. Yes, they are. Where, so uh, y'all going out to Target? Yes. Where the fuck? Where they gonna yeah, get? Yeah, you go. You hanging out now? At, you go to Target now because you ain't got to go to the game. 
Oh, see, he's got. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. it's targeting every, all the bad bitches in Target. Oh, target, no, we 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 gonna we gonna do a part two on this one. Yeah, right, listen, Walmart. Yeah. I love y'all. Verb yeah. is. <laughs> target of Walmart. We know that after three o'clock on Saturday. Like people, we not finna lie, man. Everybody know all men go to Walmart or Target on Saturdays and go bag bitches because that's where they are. When I got my first exotic car, actually when I when I first jumped in the Lambo, first thing I did this was nigga. I, did y'all hear that? Everybody hear? No, listen, listen. Hey, you hey, know listen. The first wait, thing wait, hold on, wait, man, hold on, wait, wait. The very first time, nigga, you I, fixed your hat and me and motherfucking joke. He said, you know, my first. No, exotic listen, car, listen. You know, Do you know what the first the place Lambo. that I pulled up to? Yeah, what's up? I went to fucking Walmart, nigga. You did? And I did not park in a regular parking lot, nigga. I parked right in the front. And you lift the doors up? Yep. Mm, okay. And you, <laughs> you Figures. That shit was crazy. Car seven, not car seven, not clear figures. <laughs> you ain't gotta say nothing if you pull up in front and just let the yeah, door go. Yeah, I was younger though. Every struggle in that building finna look at you and say, what we doing? I wouldn't do it now though, but. You, you wouldn't do it? Not now. Mm -hmm. They still got that Lambo? Nah. Got rid of that little hot bitch, huh? It's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I got another one on expensive. order, though. I got the new joint on oh, order. Oh, you do which one? The Revelto. Let me see a picture of it. Let me I, see it, what you got. Let me, let me check it out. It's two years out. OK, let's see it. Oh, it's going to come now? Yeah, it, they ain't even released it yet. Oh, it's another flex. Come they on, just, they yeah. just introduced it. I got to get some new forms. I, I got some. I got some shit. Yeah. I got to stop. I got to do better now. Listen. Yeah. You're just going to flex. All right, bet. All right. But listen, listen, listen. We got. We gonna, we going to do a part bet. two. Yeah, we going to do a part two like a motherfucker. <laughs> so we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Bird, for, for sure. coming. We all here, up. man. Appreciate you. All right, we out. All right.